So what we're going to do today, we're going to start doing uh, the nose and we're going to start doing the mouth. Uh, first of all, I'm going to give you a piece of clay which is rectangular in shape but it's going to be a little bit too big. So the first thing we want to do is we want to cut out a triangular shape from it. So we cut out our triangular shape. So that gives us our basic triangular shape for the nose. Obviously, if you look at your nose in your photograph, it might be a little bit wider, a little bit narrower. I'm going to make this a little bit narrower. So that tapers at the top for a nose shape, but from the side, it sticks out a little bit too far at the top. So I'm going to take off the top where it would taper into between the eyes. So there's our nose shape. It's not rounded yet, it's still got square edges. So we'll put our nose shape on there and see how it's looking. Now for me, uh, it's probably a tiny bit too long. See where the line is. I'm going to cut off a couple of millimetres from the bottom. So that gives our nose shape. Next thing to do are the nostrils. A little bit like we did with the eyes. If I take a round ball of clay and then cut it in half, that gives us two semicircular areas for the nostrils. Okay. If they're a little bit big or a little bit small, you can redo them or you can adjust them when they're on. That gives us our basic mo nose shape in terms of the structure of the nose. So the next thing to do, before trying to smooth it and model it, I would stick it on. You can do it in your hands, but it tends to be a bit difficult and it dries out because it's quite a small piece of clay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cross hatch where the nose area is. I'm going to cross hatch the back of my modelled nose, as we've done before. Take our wet clay, make sure there's enough on there to fill the cross hatching, but of course, if you put too much, it'll squash out the side, but you can clear it. it clear it up. So that gives us our nose feature. Now for me that looks a little bit too big but we can model it and we can change it. So ideally what I would do, I'd wait for this to dry before taking the slip off. But for today, for the video, I'll actually try to pull a few little bits out and now what I'm trying to do either I'm trying to curve or cut a bit off the edges because the nose of course is now a square shaped nose or with right angles I'm trying to smooth out where it joins in between the eyes I'm going to try to arrange it so you can't see the join where the nostrils join on to the reason I'm using a tool for this area is simply because my fingers are a little bit too big to get into these gaps I'm 
going to use a pointed tool to get in there just to where the nostril meets the nose and again sometimes when I get some clay on the end of the tool I'll wipe some of that clay off onto a scrap piece of clay so you can see I'm starting to join it on so it looks like it's actually part of the face so that gives me my basic nose shape it's a bit more modeling okay obviously when it's firm the stack on I can then start to carefully put in some of the extra features So you can see my basic nose shape is starting to come together. If you've done that in a lesson and you've done it well, that's not bad. A lot of people will need one or two goals to do it correctly. When it comes to the mouth, the mouth is on this line. What I would do with the mouth is I cut into it with a tool. Try to open the mouth out slightly, not too deep. Then, of course, the very fine areas of putting the lips on. Firstly, you can roll out a piece of clay, it needs to be very thin. Oops. When you're rolling out, you tend to work quite lightly. And then, cut it to size. Okay, that's a bit long on that side. Here. So I'm going to a little bit of cross hatching, not too much. Little bit of slip. Not going to try and get slip onto the back or cross hatch these pieces because it would be just too difficult. Put it on, stick them on, and then when they stuck on, then you adjust them. So, for example, this area is too long. I'm going to try to cut that area off to make it a bit better joined on. Just change this area too. Cut down and scrape that off. And go into let's have the mouth open a little bit okay there's obviously a little V shape in there which is very difficult to cut out so we put that in and after you've got to that stage, then start to put in some of the details. So for me, I tend to draw a line coming down there from the side of the nose and a line coming down there from the side of the nose and curve the bottom very subtly. And then you're in a position to push this area flat and then try to round off the bottom 
because then that's like the curve at the bottom of your cheek. Sorry, yeah, the bottom of your cheek. Very subtle. You can see the light catching it very subtly. I won't do the other side yet. Some of you have, and I'll use a sort of flattish tool for this, some of you have a little dip underneath your chin where it goes in a little bit. When it comes to the eyebrows, again, you're going to take perhaps a little bit of rolled clay and then stick that on with some slip. Just its size, looks a bit big to me. And instead of perhaps trying to make lots of little hairs, think about how you can make some marks into it to make it look like an eyebrow. So you can see now the face is starting to look three-dimensional. The nose, the nostrils, the eyebrow, the bottom of the cheek, the lips, this little dip under the lips. So it's starting to come together. After you finish the eyes, to do the nose, the mouth, on the cheeks. It's probably two lessons. And then not, and, and then finally what's left to do is the hair, the ears and finish off any of the fine details you think you've missed out.